so I wanted to come on here. Um, I live in the Twin Cities. I live in Minnesota, and I actually live where um, a lot of the looting is happening now. And they actually looted the Target that I go to, um, and all the businesses by me are closed because they're afraid of being looted. And uh, my niece actually lives close to the officer that did this um, with George Floyd. I'll say your name, George Floyd. I. They should be prosecuted. He should be cr <laughs> prosecuted for murder. They all should be. Um, but now not have we only gone from being scared about the pandemic, but I live close to everything now and you know, I'm afraid to even go outside my house. And violence does not solve anything. That's what got us into this. So how could it get us out of this? And from what I hear, and I don't know, who knows the truth, but that there are people that come from outside of our area to do this. Um, but I, I've just felt such a strong, I have a daughter, I know, believe me, I know how privileged I am. I just, I had two parents that, you know, were white and had me and I am privileged just by being a certain color, just because the pigment of my skin And I have blonde hair, and I have blue eyes, and so I'm even more, like I keep going up the chain, and it's something that I earned or did myself, it's just by happenstance. Um, and I already worry for my daughter. But I can't imagine being the mother of a black son and every day having to worry what's going to happen to them. We're all just people. We all have the same feelings. And we're all just trying to get by. I just don't understand it. I don't understand the greed. I don't understand why people are starving, why babies are starving. I just don't understand any of it. But I just wanted to come on because I just felt compelled. And the thing is, it's funny because as a privileged white woman, who am I to even get out and say anything? Because I understand I'd be angry too if anything happened to my daughter. I would do anything for her. So, you know, it just, the violence, having more violence doesn't solve anything. But, uh, you know, I'm in the middle of it now, uh, where I live. And it's funny because of the pandemic, I go out for walks three times a day just to get out. And now, uh, you know, I don't even know if I can go outside my house. So, um, it's just a sad time. And it just seems to be getting worse. And I just beg you 
could just be you would the color of your skin is a pigment it's a pigment <laughs> it doesn't change the person it's a pigment it's just a color so anyway I just really felt compelled to come on and I just felt moved after seeing everything and just knowing how close it is to me and how much it affects me. And I know I have people that, you know, follow me that don't live here and so I just wanted to get my take on it. So, um, yeah, just please uh, keep us in your thoughts and like I said on top of this pandemic and uh, we're dealing with this so um, and I just send all my love to uh, George Floyd say my name George Floyd uh, to his family and his parents and especially his mother because I'm a mother and all mothers feel the same way. They love their kids, no matter what. And this should have happened to anybody. No child, 